revenue over occupancy. It's the absolute most critical thing to increasing your profit when you're investing into Airbnbs and short-term rentals. I figured this out about three and a half years ago when everybody was trying to get maximum occupancy, like in the Smokies. It's like a 90% occupancy market. Well, you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you're sold out for summer right now in January of 2024. Here's what I want to explain to you. This is really simple unit economics. Most people think I need to focus on my occupancy and they're not focusing on ADR and their net profit margin. I have absolutely nailed this in my portfolio. That's why I only own 13 properties. I just closed on number 13 a couple of days ago. 2023, 12 properties, 12. $2.47 million in gross revenue, a million 80,000 in net income. The goal should be to make the most amount of money with the least amount of properties. That ties into your occupancy level as well. If you want to max out your return on investment, you absolutely need to be focused on revenue management. And that's what I'm talking about here, folks, is really maxing out your properties. That's what a super property is all about. I coined this term with my friend Steve uh, Carlos about just over a year ago. Building super properties is not about having the biggest and coolest property. It's about maxing out your return on investment. Take this property where I'm standing right now. Look at this view right behind me. That is literally 20 feet to the Stillwater River. You can see the amazing trees. You might even be able to see, like I can, the Canadian Rockies about 20 miles. That's in Canada, right? This is incredible. That's what maxes out the return on investment in this property just outside of Whitefish, Montana. I don't need to have 90% occupancy, but because of those views, because of the location, because of the barrel sauna and the hot tub, staring down that exact same view that is the million dollar view, I get to charge a premium. And that premium is about 40% more than my competition. This is only a three bedroom, two bath. It's gonna do over $200,000 in revenue in 2024. I have $71,000 booked already, but I am not playing the occupancy game. I am playing the money game. Remember the movie Moneyball? It, they had to strategically maximize every single dollar in that movie to be able to make it to the playoffs. They never won a World Series, but you know what they did? They maximized their dollars. And that's the same thing that I want you guys to do. This is the hidden secret. I shoot for 65 to 70% occupancy. If you're booked out for summer right now, you're leaving money on the table. If you're trying to be at 90% occupancy, 95% occupancy, you're not charging enough. And you might do 50 bookings through the course of a year. But what if you're leaving $100 a night and your average stay is three nights? That's $300. $300 times 50. We're talking like 15K, right? That 15K goes straight to your bottom line. So I have a huge goal in this industry. And with you that's watching right now, is I want to have a mindset shift for you. I want you to think about money. I want you to think about this over the long term, over a 12-month period. There is no question that if you have a super property like this, you will sell out during your peak season. I will sell this property out. I'm probably going to have zero bookings. Actually, I have somebody checking. I'll have one booking here in January. That's okay. As long as I'm maxing out my ADR, my average daily rate, and I'm able to charge 30, 40% more than my competition. I'm able to charge 20, 35% more than my max in price labs or the, any of the other dynamic pricing tools. That's what this is about. This is what makes a super property. It's not just adding murals and painting and nice furniture and design. You need to invest into proximity. Literally 16 steps through that snow and I'm in the river. A lot of people make an investment and they're on a river but they're up on a, a plateau, they're up on a cliff, and their guests can't access the river. That's proximity. Number two is location. You know, I'm located on the river. I'm located super close. It's 150 yards to get to the Stillwater Lake. I'm 15 minutes to Whitefish. I'm 25 minutes uh, to skiing at Big Mountain, Whitefish Mountain. I'm under 45 minutes to Glacier National Park. I'm 35 minutes to Big Fork and Flathead Lake. I've got everything in proximity here, but it's that river, the views, the proximity that makes this a super property. A super property allows me to max out 
my ADR. When I max out my ADR, I can go from 90% down to like 60, 65, 70% in occupancy. And if you do the math, I would rather get $1,700 a night from Memorial Day through Labor Day at this property. And I know I will be at like 90, 95% occupancy. So here's a pro tip for all of you that have made it this far into the video. I am set right now at $1,900 a night for this property. I, as we get closer, and I have four night minimums, as we get closer, I won't lower pricing for those available dates. I will lower my minimum to three days because I know that I can go in and I can upsell and downsell a premium to my guests. If somebody's checking out on Wednesday and somebody is checking in on Thursday, I have two opportunities to sell Wednesday night to the guest that is already booked and staying and checking out and the guest that's booked to check in on Thursday and that's checking in. So if I keep my pricing super high, I know that I close at about 37% of those gap nights and I literally have my maximum pricing to where I can go in and say, hey, I can give you guys a 40% discount. So I'm still gonna be charging them like $900 a night to fill that gap night. Those are the types of revenue management strategies, the types of marketing strategies that you need to have to combat the occupancy problem here. I will get those nights sold, but I'm going to sell them at a premium. I'm not lowering the other dates. I'm lowering that one date to fill the gap night. These are the strategies that we all need. We all need to be focusing number one on revenue management. And the number one thing with revenue management is to know your booking lead time. So for this property, booking lead time is about 92 days. So I'm not real smart. I'm a college dropout. Yeah, I gave up a full ride to UCLA on a golf scholarship. So I'm not real good at math. So I'm going to take that 92 down to 90. There is about a 20% sweet spot. So if I add 20%, that's like 18 days. I'm going to round that up to 20. 110 days down to around 70 days. There's this 40-day window that is the booking sweet spot. When you get to the top of that window, so for this property, 110 days, I move on down. I want to be in prime booking zone all the way down to that 90 days. And then from 90 days to 70 days, I don't touch my pricing ever inside of that time zone. That's a 40, 40 day range that it stays static. And that is at my prime rate. If my prime rate's 1500 inside of that. I'm raising 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900 this far out for Memorial Day through Labor Day. So if somebody's willing to book now, I'm adding an extra 15, 20, 30%. I incrementally take that pricing down to the, like 2%, 3% a week until I hit that 110 days. When I hit that 110 days, I'll be around that $1,500 mark for this property. And it's going to ride all the way down to 70 days. Even if I don't book it at day 90 or day 85, when I get to 70 days, that's when I start to lower the pricing. And I will lower the pricing same as I did coming into the, the top at 110, starting at day 70. When I get down to date, I'm going to do it in 10 day increments. Now, when I get to 60, I'll have a 3% price reduction. When I get to 50, 3%. When I get to 40, now I'm going to 5%. When I get to 30, I'm doing another 5%. Then I'm going to sit and I'm going to sit and I'm going to wait. And I'm going to do one part of research. I'm going to look at the pacing feature. And I want to see the number of comparable properties that are booked and at what price point, and the number of comparable properties that are unbooked, and at what price point. And now I'm taking over manual revenue management. I turn, I use Price Labs, I turn Price Labs off, I kind of let, leave it where it is, but now I'm manually pricing to make sure that I'm in alignment with the properties that are not booked. I'm still trying to stay about 5 to 7% above the average of those properties but if I'm 15% or 20%, it's going to make it much more challenging to get booked inside of that short notification. So that's when I'm taking over from a manual standpoint. All while I'm still looking at that metric on an annualized basis, I'm not getting paranoid day to day, week to week about not having a property booked because I'm okay if they sit. I'd like to let them breathe. And if they breathe and there's nobody there, then I can do a virtual stay, get a five star review, boost my rankings but I also can get maintenance, my handyman in here to do some painting touch up, do the 48 inches and down. Because one of the big things to maximize ADR and pricing is you have to make sure that your property stays in mint condition, in super condition. 
So that 48 inches and down, I have my handyman come in and literally he's going in and he's painting everything because it's another design secret. We do everything in flat paint. All of our walls, not our trim, but our walls, you know, those little suitcase scuffs that go around the corners and everything. Well, he comes in and he can touch up an entire house in about an hour. So that way it looks like new and it smells like new when that guest checks in. So don't be afraid to let a property sit and breathe and do some maintenance, even in peak season. Because if you are maxing out, once again, you don't need to be at 100% occupancy. If you have a super property, you will have that opportunity. So make sure super far out, you have your pricing increased by 25 to 30%. Make sure that you have your maximum minimums. If you're typically on a three or a four day minimum, you should be at seven days till you're at about 150 days out. Then lower it to five, then lower it to four, and then do the three, two, one strategy once you're inside that 30 days. The three, two, one is that now you start to increase your pricing, lowering your minimums down to three nights. Now you start to, and that could be for the weekends and the weekdays, you go to two night minimums and you increase your pricing again. So I typically will go, From that standardized rate, increase about 35% for three-night minimums, increase 20 to 25% for two-night minimums, then I'll increase 50% for the one-nights and do the upsell. Remember that Wednesday checkout and the Thursday check-in, I raise the price 50%, then I give them a 50% discount, so I'm still getting my maximum rate. That's how you make more money, by focusing on revenue management and ADR and not occupancy.